Oh yes, Mr. Wonderful who's always looking amazing in front of the camera with those lights shining bright on him. But I know you beautiful people out there, the fellas and those beautiful ladies, oh, you know that you have my heart. I appreciate you and I know that that light is shining bright on you beautiful people out there. Because guess what? You have come into the FC Sneaker Factory once again for a brand new ep episode for another great segment that only Mr. Wonderful can deliver you. And in case you missed last episode, take your ass and go back and watch that episode because we are talking about sneaker profiles, but specifically the Air Jordan 13. The Air Jordan 13s that are in my FC sneaker factory and the ones that I feel that deserve and only belong in the FC sneaker factory because we all know there's a ton of 13s out there, right? In all different colorways. But the ones that I'm about to bring you mean the most to me. And I feel like these are the only ones that are, that need to only be in the FC Sneaker Factory. I feel like I've gotten all the Air Jordan 13s that I need for my specific collection. And the ones that really only matter to myself. But you may be different out there. You may have a bunch of them or you may have very little of them. But when you're going through this catalog... Once we complete this segment, you're going to be like, damn, that's a fine looking Air Jordan 13 collection. But here we go. I got the box to my left and I got the beautiful shoot to my right. But you know what? Before we even get started onto the shoe, let's go ahead and open up the books up back when it comes to this. Because you know what? Mr. Wonderful has built himself an amazing catalog of shoes. And we are talking about sneaker profiles. 207 right here i know 207 who would have thought when we first started this last march in 2022 but here we go we are on the correct page now let's go ahead and talk about this beautiful shoe but before even that i know i know you're probably saying mr wonderful damn you look amazing the hair is amazing oh that beautiful fade the skin oh and that beautiful smile that only mr wonderful can deliver but let's talk about the fit because I know you beautiful people out there, the fellas and those beautiful ladies, you guys got your heart pumping on this one. So as you can see, I brought out that beautiful fleece that I did an unboxing on probably a few pickup videos ago, right? This gorgeous fleece. I thought I was going to have to wait until fall time, but it turns out when it comes to this beautiful state of California, well... Summer is going to be a little late this year because we are having that long winter on through the springtime and as well through the summertime. But I'm able to wear this. I'm actually going to go run a few errands and then meet up with one of the beautiful cheerleaders. We're supposed to have like a late lunch, early dinner. So I decided to wear this because I feel like this is just a perfect time to wear this. It's not too, you know, thick, but it's just enough to keep me warm during this these this cold time right now that we're having in California. So this is just a great fleece though. Comfortable, amazing as you can see it looks amazing on Mr. Wonderful. But just take a look at this. So we do got that green kef hit. It's like a forest green, the kef hit on the hoodie and also that the green um kef green when it comes to these the the wrist guards when it comes to this specific fleece, but it is that forest green fleece on the hoodie so let's let me go ahead and stand up for you but look at that this is actually brown and it does say keth right here but let me go ahead and stand up for you so you can see the entire fit gorgeous all right so that i have to be careful because this is that very nice light beige fleece so i have to be careful what i'm doing or what i'm eating today but i am rocking some black ag denim and of course that white nice premium Stanford T from JC Penney's. All right, so let's go ahead and we got the we got the fit out of the way. I'm in focus and I know the shoes are going to be in focus, but let's take talk about let's talk a little bit about this box right here. So, when it came to these Air Jordan 13s, they took Jordan Jordan brand took us back, right? They took us back to those old the original box that that the Air Jordan 13s came in, right? From back in the day, but I had some 13s in my collection when I was growing up. 
So these boxes are actually a little bit more flat, right? More matted when it comes to that silver because the original boxes, they were, had more of a metallic look, a little bit more shine to them. But let's take a look at this. So you do got that old school Jordan box, nothing crazy, right? Just that old school Jordan box. You do got that Jumpman on the top. And then this is what the most important part of it, of the, of the box is, is right there. The Air Jordan 13 Retro, black, true red, and white. And you see that price, $190, okay? So let's take a look at the inside of the box. Oh, there goes the receipt. But you see that you do got a champion bag in there and then of course that receipt that just fell out so this shoe let me go ahead and pick this this receipt up all right so this shoe i was not able to pur purchase for retail i actually had to go to the, the resale market when it came to this one i forgot what year i actually purchased this but this was actually later on before uh after the shoe uh release it was i know for a fact that i didn't get it right away because I feel like during this time frame, I was kind of, I kind of stopped collecting. I was kind of maybe taking a little bit of break when this shoe originally came out. But it shows on here that this person paid $203.78. And this was purchased on August 19th, 2017. So here's that champs. And I purchased this on eBay. So in case you're not familiar with the channel, when it comes to Mr. Wonderful, especially back then, I would always request for the receipt when I purchased any shoe, um, especially when I knew like it was more of a recent drop. So I knew there are more there are more than able or having to have that receipt in hand. So I always requested that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start off a little bit of backstory on the shoe, right? Where it came from, where it originated, who designed it, stuff like that. And then we'll actually go into the actual shoe itself. But we are talking about Sneaker Profiles 207, the Air Jordan 13 bread. All right. So how many people out there have this shoe in their collection? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. I mean, obviously, Mr. Wonderful doesn't get a very many comments. So even me asking, I doubt that I'll get one. But the shoe, right? The designer behind the shoe is Tinker Hatfield. You know, once again, he blessed the sneaker world with another unforgettable design with this Air Jordan 13, which was inspired by the Black Panther, playing off Michael Jordan's nickname, the Black Cat, the shoe that took on that predatory look of that vicious feline with that dotted embroidered on the upper, mimicking the base of a panther's whiskers. And then also that paw pad outsole design. The signature features the Air Jordan 13 would be that circular hologram at the heel. And then of course that colored yellow slash green light panther eye that included the 3D Jumpman and that 23. Okay, so all pretty much all the Air Jordan 13s have that. So What's different between this one and the playoff? The playoff was an actual sneaker app pickup. And you know the, uh, the FC Sneaker Factory experience fireworks when it came to this one. But when it comes to this one, this one you see a little bit more different when it comes to the playoff and when it comes to the brand. I have to say though, when it comes to the models, right? Same, there they're are both 13s. But this one right here, right? When it had this fabric, this 3M fabric on, on here, this one is what basically made me, it, it makes me like it a little bit more than the playoff, than the all leather one. I just really like the this 3M material. As you can see in the camera, it's already shining bright, right? But it, it just makes the shoe look a lot better. It's not so much leather going on. But don't get me wrong. The playoffs are amazing in its own way, but... If I had to choose, right, I would always choose the 3M right here rather than the all-leather look. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one right here. All right, the Air Jordan 13 bread on this one. You see that beautiful leather on the toe box. So this shoe was actually well, originally released back in 19, 1998, but then there was multiple retros when it came, on, when it came to this specific colorway and shoe. So in 2004, it got retroed. 2013, it got retroed. And in this one right here that 
I have in my hand, this was the 2017, okay? So gorgeous shoe, a lot of great things going on. You have a mixture of leather, carbon fiber, and that beautiful Zoom Air. But let's go ahead and take a look at the material. So right here, you see that beautiful tumble leather on the toe box, all right? And then it goes into that beautiful 3M material. As you can see, all right here throughout the, the lateral part of the shoe. And then just below that 3M material, you do have this beautiful red suede, but that red suede goes into the, the, the midsole. And then you have more of that beautiful suede going throughout the midsole right there as well. And then you got these beautiful black rubber pods, right, right here. And then right here as well, going into the, the rear part of the shoe. And of course you got that nice, and I still have this plastic over it, but it does have the Jumpman and a 23 hologram representing that panther eye. All right, so here we go. Now we're looking at the rear of the shoe. So you got more, a lot more of that beautiful red suede, but you do have a nice little touch of that black nylon. And then you got some of those black pods going, but then you, you got that little break when it comes to that red suede. And then you got that transitioning back into that black pod. Now let's take a look at the, the medial side. So obviously, it looks very identical to the lateral side, but I will point out those obviouses, right? There you go, the lateral, so the medial side, no hologram. But you do have more of this, or a little bit less, I should say, less of that 3M material going on when it comes to the medial side, but you do have a lot more of that beautiful red suede when it comes to the medial side. And then you got that, still that beautiful transition into the midsole when it comes to that Beautiful red suede that goes throughout the, the medial part of the shoe, but also the, the, the mid sole. And then right here, you got that beautiful black pods when it comes to the, the medial side. And you got that pretty decent size black pod right there. You do got that carbon fiber shank paint right there. Gorgeous hit. And this is a shoe that I have wore. I know, I know. Mr. Wonderful, you wore this one. Yes, I have. So... You see that, I'm not gonna touch it, but you got those white pods that go throughout the, the, the outsole, that beautiful, right, red, right there, circular Jumpman, but then the Jordan, the Jumpman itself is actually in black. And then you got those nice carbon fiber shank plates that go throughout the outsole. Now let's take a look at the front part of the shoe. This is what you would see. Gorgeous black rubber on the front of the shoe. And now let's take a look at my favorite part, right? The aerial view, because this is the shoe. This is the part that you view the most when you have a shoe on. But you have that beautiful tumble leather on the toe box, that Jordan hit tag right there. And then you got that those black rope laces, that beautiful black suede tongue. And of course, that goes all the way up into here. So what's different about this one, right, when compared to the playoff is Remember the playoff had that circular, that circle going around the Jumpman, but this is just straight, all suede, but you do have that red Jumpman right there. And then inside the shoe, you do got that beautiful black collar, the black insole, but you do have that red Jumpman on the insole. So that's the only thing that, that has changed. So pretty crazy because I just barely noticed that right now, that this does not have that circle like the playoffs does, but Still gorgeous shoe, right? I love this shoe. I just love how that 3M pops when it comes to the camera, right? I'm looking at it, barely see the 3M, but when you see it in camera, you see, definitely see that 3M popping, and it's just great to see. Classic Jordan when it comes to this one right here. The Air Jordan 13, Brad right here. Gorgeous shoe, another amazing sneaker profiles, and I hope you have that one, or I hope you had that one sometime down the line of your sneaker collection of your sneaker journey because Mr. Wonderful has it and it's still in his in his fucking collection, right? And like I, I mentioned before on other profiles, on Floyd's pickups, YouTube is my fucking pedestal and the sneaker genre, it is definitely my playground. I appreciate you for stopping by the fellas and those beautiful ladies and you know, I'm gonna be out, about to be meeting one of those beautiful ladies pretty damn soon after I'm done running my errands. Uh, but you know what? 
just like those doors are about to be closing on you. And, I'm, and I've said this many times. You don't have to go home, but you have to get the hell out of the FC Sneaker Factory because those doors are about to close. Just like this book is about to be closed on Sneaker Profile 207. But don't, don't worry. Dry those beautiful eyes of yours because Mr. Wonderful will be back in a couple days and we'll be talking about another beautiful fucking shoe when it comes to the Air Jordan 13. But just be patient because that will be coming in a couple of days. But you know what? It's so funny because I was actually, I had to go to the mall. I actually had to go pick up some more Nike socks. I mean, I normally just wear Nike socks around the house. It's just crazy because they don't last very long. They get, I don't know why they, I mean, obviously they're, they're not made very, very, uh, with the greatest fabrics, but they just don't last too long. So I'm, I'm constantly stocking up on those things. Throw them away once the holes developing, right? Throw them away, go buy some brand new ones. But anyways, I was at a Foot Locker buying them and this beautiful, one of the beautiful ladies, right, that was, that was working there, of course, approaches Mr. Wonderful, asks if I need any help. I said, nah, I'm just here to buy some socks. And she says, man, your, your outfit and those beautiful, those shoes that you have on look amazing on you, Mr. Wonderful. And you, want, you know what? I must say. Mr. Wonderful, you are too damn <laughs> sweet. <laughs>